Husband number one came along when Lori was just 19. Three years and one divorce later, Lori got married again and Lori divorced again, all inside one year. This marriage produced a child, a son named Colby. Marriage number three to a Texas businessman named Joe Ryan, that lasted three years. That was the longest one yet. And this one produced another child, Ty Lee, who wouldn't live to see her 17th birthday. Husband number four was Charles Vallow, who had two children from a previous marriage. Lori and Charles were together an unprecedented 14 years, during which they adopted his two-year-old great-nephew, Joshua Jackson, whom the family called JJ. Lori would later call him and his big sister, Ty Lee, zombies. Charles looked at his wife's increasingly unhinged religious beliefs with concern and then with alarm. Charles called the police. Wait, what did she say yesterday? She said, you're not Charles. I don't know who you are, what you did with Charles, but I can murder you now with my powers. In time, the couple separated. Lori, Ty Lee and JJ moved to Arizona. Charles stayed in Texas, but feared for the children and so filed a mental health petition with Arizona police. He wanted Lori committed. She wasn't. And then he filed for divorce. In 2019, July, Charles went to Lori's house for a visit and Lori's brother, Alex, shot him dead. The same brother, Alex, who a decade earlier had tased and supposedly conspired to murder Lori's previous husband, Joe Ryan. Ryan, incidentally, had passed away of a heart attack the year before Charles Vallow died in 2018, and no foul play was suspected. Chad Daybell and Lori Vallow met face to face for the first time in the fall of 2018 at a gathering in Utah of a group called Preparing a People. Some have called it a cult. Chad reportedly told his attractive and eager disciple they'd shared many past lives. Their future life together was ordained, or so they believed. But the non-believers, the zombies, those supposedly possessed of dark spirits would allegedly have to be dealt with. And Charles Vallow was at the top of that list. Lori moved herself, Ty Lee and JJ to Rexburg, Idaho, where Chad Daybell lived with his wife, Tammy Daybell, a school librarian. Tammy Daybell passed away in her sleep on the night of October 19th. She'd been in poor health, they said, and when the coroner said her death appeared natural, her children believed it. Her body was exhumed, an autopsy done, and the reported conclusion was homicide, asphyxiation. Tammy had likely been smothered. And though Alex Cox would never be connected with that death, the very next day, Uncle Alex was back in the headlines with his own death. He dropped dead in the house he was sharing in Arizona with his bride of two weeks. His autopsy showed blood clots in his lungs. No foul play. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.